Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly call Jesus. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone for having taught me this truth that I know today. Salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Um, the topic of this lesson is going to be going after your dreams and your careers or choosing a dream and careers. I don't know which one to put, but later I'm going to see what fits better. But the main thing is I'm going to be talking about choosing a career, going after your career and your dreams. So before I go right deep into it, I'm going to start by reading from the book of First John chapter 2 verse 15 and i'll go down so he quotes love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passeth away and the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Yeah, I'm going to stop here. But if you keep reading downwards, he continues and he explains um, a little more. So the reason why I'm doing this lesson is um, I think some weeks ago or so, I had a conversation with a friend of mine who actually is a, is a soccer player. And he is very good at it. So, you know, he has tried many, many years, you know, trying to get signed to a team. You know, it's actually his dream. That's what he's actually living for. So he called me the other day and he was like, um, I must achieve my dream. I must get to that point where I want to get to. So it actually touched me in my heart and I had to just speak to this brother and I told him, listen, these dreams you're going after, first of all, is that what the most I want you to go after? And you, after all these years chasing and going after this career, but you haven't gotten to the point, it means the most I is actually protecting you and doesn't want you to get there because that's not the career or the dreams the most I want for we Israelites. So... Um, as we can see lately, the world is going crazy. You know, everyone is going crazy. They all want to, you know, they all want to meet up. They all want to get to a start and to, to a certain um level in the society, you know. But then, if you think about, you know, chasing after our dreams and career, you're going to see something, you know, really, really similar in all the patterns, and that is we we actually all want to you know achieve this dream you know and get to a certain point of comfort in our life where people respect you know having money having cars and having everything we actually wish to have yeah, these things are good but we should remember this kingdom actually is not our kingdom and it's not our time to shine let me just put it like that because everyone wants to shine now you know, the Edomites are doing a great job, you know, in, in brainwashing and, you know, putting a fake illusion before, before the sons of Israel, you know. So it's the same old thing that has been happening right from, you know, time immemorial, you know. We always get carried away by the ways of the Eden, you know. So if you now even go deep into history and you, you know, you see all this choosing a path, a career, you see these are all made up by men. You know, when you go to school, they don't actually teach you in school. They indoctrinate you in school. OK, most of us wants to become judges. Some wants to become doctors, some engineers and whatever. I'm not saying this is bad, but if this acts if this have a toll in your life, you know, it's not good for you. It's not healthy for you. The most I actually doesn't want us to 
doesn't want us to go after these things. And if we look closely, you know, there is a scripture, I can't remember where now, but I'm going to put it on the screen, which quotes that we are meant to be a nation of priests to the Most High. So this is actually the career path we're supposed to go after, not what the world puts in front of us. Myself, I love to sing. I have a great talent from the most high in composition, you know, producing music and, you know, singing and rapping and writing, you know. So I did a lot to achieve this career and I got to a point where I got a deal from a major, I'm not going to mention the name now. Um, it was 200,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds monthly and lots of other, you know, benefits. But, you know, I'm grateful to the most I at the point I got this deal. It was actually the point when I started like learning more about the truth. So I am grateful to the most I I, I, I actually rejected the, the deal. I refused the deal. And, you know, people around me who knows, who knows about this thing they were like, oh, dude, you're crazy. What's wrong with you? Are you going to refuse such a deal and everything, you know? But I know what I'm going after. I know, I know what I'm looking for. The real, the real deal is getting a crown from the most eye in his new kingdom when the kingdom comes. Because this kingdom, this world we're living right now is ruled by Esau and it's going to end. It is going to end. It's not going to last forever. It's going to end. And, you know, if we look, if we look at things that, that are going on right now, you can easily see that this kingdom is about to end. This kingdom is actually at its end. So let's, you know, let's go through another another bible square another scripture real quick so i'm going to read from the book of proverbs chapter 23 i think it's oh hold on sorry verse four okay here he quotes in verse four labor not to be rich Seize from thine own wisdom. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not? For riches certainly makes themselves wings. They fly away as an eagle towards heaven. So, I'm going to base on verse 4, which tells us, Labor not to be rich. Seize from thine own wisdom. You know, but what baffles me is um, the society actually teaches us, you know, to get as rich as, as, as rich as possible as we can, you know, live the best life as we can. So we are actually seeking our own heaven on earth here now, in which actually heaven is a state of mind. Um, and there is actually the, there is, um, there is the physical heaven as well, where the most high dwells. You know, but, you know, there are three degrees of heaven, you know, there is heaven here on earth, you know, the second heaven is um, the ozone layer, and the third heaven is where the most high dwells. So here, a lot of people are already living in heaven, and many are still living in hell, because if you go through the scriptures and you check out the word hell, you know, you find out um, it's literally talking about the word for hell is Guyana. It's literally talking about a place in Jerusalem where where dongs are, dirts are piled up and later burnt. So it's actually an allegory. It's not like a real hell actually exists, like how Christianity is trying to let us believe. That is Greek fable. So that's going to, that's going to be another topic for another day. But what I'm trying to point out is, you know, most of us chasing after our careers. We are actually trying to sell ourselves to this world. You know, lots of rappers, lots of musicians, athletes, they do anything and anything to get to that point where they want to get to. 
fame, riches, you know. But the Most High is actually telling us here, labor not to be rich, cease from thine own wisdom, okay. Now, if you go all over the internet, it's spread everywhere, you know, how to get money, how to be rich, follow a career, career dear, your dreams. and But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying you don't have to work. As the children of the Most High, we are actually in captivity. So we we are actually slaves to the system, okay? So I'm not saying you shouldn't work myself. I work like other, other Akiams, you know, we work, you know, we, we, we just work, you know, to live, you know, to pay our bills, to pay our rent, to put some food on the table, you know, but nothing more, you know. We are not actually trying to get rich and, you know, build mansions and whatever, because we know this kingdom is coming to an end very soon and it's going to be destroyed, you know. Major parts of this kingdom is going to be destroyed. So there is no sense in, you know, trying to pile up all those riches, trying to gain whatever, just to live, you know, the super fancy life that the sons of Esau puts before our eyes. Um, let's quickly get another quick precepts. So I am going to read from the book of Ecclesiastes 12, 13. Um, second. So here, what is actually the major career that we need to go after? So this is the question. And the answer, you can find it here in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, which quotes, Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh. The Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It is clear what we should strive, what our dreams should be, is to be accepted in the new kingdom that is about to come. That is what our main dream, aspirations, and careers should be after. You know, it just makes me laugh. In my heart at the same time it makes me sad when i see people you know just you know doing anything and anything you know just to get a contract uh, to sign a deal um to get to that point in life where they feel like yeah i'm at the, I'm at the top you know we are actually going against the commandments of the most high and this is the problem you see the church is actually they have poisoned the hearts of people. The pastors and preachers are the first people to tell you, oh, you need to achieve your dreams. Well, I listen to some sermons and I'd be like, what the hell? This is not even in the scriptures. But you see, this is still part of what the book of Revelations, I think chapter 18, is speaking about Babylon has gotten us all drunk with our fornications with a cup of fornication, with our philosophies, you know, we all want, we all want to get a share of this present kingdom. We all striving so hard to be at the top of this kingdom, which is not the kingdom of the most high. And it baffles me a lot, you know, we go after vain things, thinking, yeah, these are the real things. Some people feel they're better because they're lawyers, they're doctors. But at the end of the day, you get to work for, you know, you get to work for Esau, you know. I had good grades in school. I, was, I wasn't bad at school. But, yeah, after getting to know the truth, you know, I reminisced a little bit about the past. And I understood how, you know, the schooling system has tried you know, I tried to indoctrinate me and, you know, change me from the, from the real purpose which the Most High Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has for me. So you see this verse right here saying, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. 
fear God and keep his commandments for this is the world duty of man. Whoa, straight up right there. So, you know, for your Akiams and Aquats out there, you know, trying to be whatever, get into the music industry. Like yesterday, I saw a post on Instagram, um, a video of, um, I think, what's his name? Um, I think the guy's dead now. Um, Juice, Juice Ward or so, yeah. I saw the video of his initiation when he was, you know, performing the satanic rituals, you know, to get the fame. And there he is. It didn't last long. So this is the end of those who sell out to the kingdom of Esau. Debt is your portion. Debt. Debt. Because the wages of sin is debt. But the gift of the Most High Yehawah, Shem Yehawah is everlasting life. So it's your choice. You choose where you want to stand. Do you want to actually go after that dream okay of being chosen or being safe in the new kingdom that is about to come which is beyond our imagination it has nothing to do with this filthy and dirty kingdom we're living in right now where everything is upside down esau has changed everything he has gotten us all mad and drunk with his philosophies as quoted in the book of revelations 18 you know so we're going to get that. Let's get another quick precept. And so I'm going to read from the book of um, Matthew. The book of Matthew chapter 6. I think it's verse 10. Okay. So here, our Lord Yahweh Shai was teaching, was trying to give an example of, you know, how you should pray. And this is what we, these Christians, you know, you see, Christianity is one of the worst religions to ever exist here on earth. Christianity is actual poison. It changes you. It teaches everything all contrary, really, you know. So here again, you see, it's part of, you know, I hear lots of Christians, you know, saying, um, you know, whenever you speak about the world ending, they'll be like, oh, let's pray. It doesn't happen. Whenever, you know, we speak about prophecies and things that are already been spoken about that are yet to come, that must come. You know, spoken by the mouth of the Most High, by the mouth of His prophets, you know. Whenever you try to tell them, they'll be like, mm, it's not going to happen now. Let's pray. It doesn't happen you know, most of them are still praying so the coronavirus goes off, you know. And this is just, this is insane, you know. You're praying against, you, you can't pray against the word of the Most High, you know. Like here in verse, in verse 10, okay, is Matthew 6 verse 10. It's saying, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So if we were to pray, we should pray for his kingdom to come quick and fast as well. You know, he should reign on earth as he reigned in heaven. Because here, the devils are reigning. They're the one controlling everything. And their secrets are being showed everywhere. We all saying their secrets everywhere. So you see, the Christians, you know, there are lots of hypocrites in the church, in these churches. That's why all your Akiams and Aquats, you know, sons of Israel, sons of Jacob, get out of Babylon, come out of those churches, you know, they don't teach you the truth. Come out of those churches. And those of you who are still confused and looking for what come to join, you know, the great millstone, the elders of the great millstones, the apostles of the great millstones, I personally testify that these are true men of the Most High, you know, they preach the truth the 100% truth. And nowhere, nowhere you're going to find 100% truth than in the Great Millstone. So, your Akiams and Aquats, you know, going after your aspirations, your dreams. <laughs> well, anyway, the word dream, you know, for you to dream, you have to be asleep. So that's what most of you are, actually. You're all asleep, walking zombies, zombies you know, going after this, you know, his worldly careers and worldly aspirations. Man, it's going to take you to death, man. So, I'm going to quickly get another quick precepts. Um, 
yeah that's what i actually mentioned earlier it's going to be from the book of um revelations sorry slack here from the book of revelations chapter 18 i think you find it in verse 4 and I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of our my people, that ye be not partakers of our sins, and that ye receive not of our plagues. For our sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered our iniquities. So you see, this is a call. This is a call to you sons of Israel, sons of Jacob, spread around the four corners of the earth, still drinking of this um, false philosophies of Esau, you know, come out of R, come out of R. If not, you're going to partake. You're going to partake of um, of of our sins, and our plagues as well. So, Akiams and Aquats, you know, you know, it's not easy, you know, in this kingdom. I know, you feel the pressure. You want to be a part of them, you know. You want to prove to your friends that, yeah, I actually got to that point where I'm, I've always spoken about I'm going to get to, you know. But then you should think, is that really what the Most High wants for you? Is that really what the Most High wants for you? Remember the first verse we read, um, which says, you know, he who has the love of the world has not the love of the Father. So, you know, I'm using this medium to speak out to you know all your you know chasing after careers chasing after dreams or whatever so you better wake up from this slumber it's not even the time yet you know uh, things are really going to get crazy very soon things are really going to get crazy okay it's going to be a second lockdown so instead of you looking for a career or whatever you should look for the truth and you should pray to the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, to save you, to help you, to prepare your heart for what's about to come. Jacob's trouble. Okay? So, I wouldn't like to keep this lesson too long. But if you, if you really go down through this book of Revelation chapter 8, and it has, it has so much. It has so much. It speaks about the merchants of the earth. You know, the merchants of the earth actually, you know, all your you know being a part of the system you know um the lawyers the judges you know um you know all of those that sold out to ESO, musicians athletes and all these people you're the merchants of the earth you know so you see stay off this career lane which takes you to the path of death you know so with this said i hope you all was edified and um, i pray the most high yahweh bashem yahweh shai you know speaks to your heart if you're part of the chosen and with this i'm going to say shalom shalom